Oh, hi, good morning. Let's start. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is a beautiful day. Today is Wednesday. Today is Earth Day. Um, I'd like you to go outside and thank God for all of our nature and everything we have in the sky. It's beautiful um, weather. It's sunny. It's warm. There's a lot of things to do outside safely. All right, so let's get started. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. So again, let's say it together. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. So we need to change the date right here. It's still April. So April is the fourth month of the year. We need to add, or, uh, change this to a 22 for the 22nd. And then it's still 2020. Um, for April tally, we need another tally mark. So 22 is four, four bundles of five and then two left over. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, and 22. On our calendar journal, I forgot to erase the one from yesterday. Let me quick erase that. All right, so now today is Wednesday, so I'm going to circle the Wednesday. I'm going to write Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, so I'm going to write Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Thursday. Thursday starts with a th th th. Very good. So today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Thursday. Right there. And then it is another sunny day. So I'm using my eyeballs, my sense of sight to tell me that it is sunny. And I'm using my skin to tell me that it feels warm outside. So I'm going to draw bright, shiny sun, a happy sun. And again, I'm going to draw. It's beautiful outside. So I'm going to just draw some flowers, some happy flowers like that and then it's warm so I'm going to write warm just like that all right so today is Wednesday April 22nd how many months do we have in a year boys and girls if you said 12 you are correct that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in a year. What is the first month of the year, boys and girls? It is January. What is the last month of the year? The twelfth month month of the year. It is December. Very good. We are in the fourth month of the year, which is April. What is the fifth month of the year? Next month. It will be May. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth month is May. Let's sing it. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Boop, boop, boop. All right. So I have my buckets right here. Sorry about that. I have my buckets, my 100 bucket, my 10s bucket, my 1s bucket. I'm going to add one more straw to the 1s bucket. And now yesterday we had 5. So now I'm going to add one more. And now we have 6. So we have 6 in the 1s bucket. We have 2 bundles of 10 or 3 bundles of 10 in the 10s bucket and one big bundle of 100. So now we need to change this. How many days have we been in school? Let's write it all together. So one bundle of 100, we need a one. One is fun. We have three bundles of 10 in the tens bucket. So around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. And then we have six 
straws in the ones bucket so around and around until it sticks that's the way to make a six so now we've been in school for 136 days boys and girls very good we have our 100 chart our beautiful handy dandy 100 chart right there and i think we should count by fives today and fives and with a five or a zero a five or a zero all right five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty sixty five seventy seventy five eighty eighty five ninety ninety five one hundred very good and if you have a 100 chart of your own at home go ahead and practice counting by fives and then count by one by ones that'd be awesome all right, so like I said, today is Earth Day. So what I'd like you to do today is watch my directed drawing. I'm going to um, draw a picture of the Earth. And we love the Earth, so there's going to be a little heart on the Earth. Don't think it's too hard. You guys can do it. I always pick drawings that I know that you guys can do, okay? Um, also, um, what did you see on your walk yesterday? Did you go on your um, nature walk? Did you see... Um, some new colors, some new leaves, some new, some new plants outside. Did you hear the birds? Well, I am also going to, after this um, calendar video, I'm going to read to you Feathers for Lunch. It's all about the animals in the spring and all the things that you might see during the springtime outside. It's got a cat and an animal, and we're going to be talking about animals this month for the rest of the month and their habitats. Um, also, um, in phonics, you're going to be working on page 157, 50, 158. So on 157, you are going to be using your wonderful phonics skills and sounding out by sounding out the words, the pictures, say the names of the pictures, and do your best to spell those words. And remember, because it's a long A, it needs a silent E at the end. So for example, rake is spelled, I'll write it for you, R-A-K, and then you need an E at the end. Oh, that's kind of hard to see. So let me write it with my marker, R, a K E and you need the silent E at the end to make that a long A. If you did not have that E, it would say rack. Another way to you or to spell the long A sound, the next word, number two, is pale. So you would need an A and an I to make that A long A sound. So this is how you spell pale. P a i l so that's how you spell pale if you did not have that i it would be pal that is not a pal that is a pale and then this is hay that's a bale of hay hay uses the a y to make that a long a sound so you would spell that h a y Okay, so that are the different, those are the different ways to, um, to spell the long A sound. You need a, a silent E, an A-I, or an A-Y, okay? So go through the whole thing, look at all the pictures, and then try and spell those. Okay, and then at the end, you're going to make up your own word or you're going to think of another word that is not on here. You're not going to make up the word. You're going to think of another real word that has a long A sound. All right. If you have any questions, always ask me. On the other side, on 158, you're going to read the sentence and you can kind of see the black marks from the other side, but that's okay. So you're going to read the sentence and it is not complete but there is you can um 
if it's going to make it easier, you are going to, you can um, rip out the page because I know these are a little bit difficult, difficult, but you're going to read the sentence and complete it by choosing one of these words that would fit in that sentence. For example, the first one says the bus was, and then lane, late or lake. So what word, what long A word fits in that sentence? And if you said late, you are correct. The bus was late. So sound out all those words and find late. It's the second one. And then you're going to circle it so you know what, what you're spelling and then spell it right there on the line. Late. Okay? Super easy. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and give me a um, email or have your mom and dad text me and I will answer that for you. Also, if you have any questions or if you want me to um, film anything else um, other than directed drawings, read aloud stories, um, science, I'm going to try to do some cooking with you um, this week or next week. Um, please let me know. We have a Zoom meeting on Friday at 10 a.m. And um, it would be nice to hear from you, um, get your feedback and see what you want me to film. So um, also speaking of our Zoom meeting on Friday, we're going to be having a scavenger hunt. I'm going to ask you some questions to find things in your home. So nothing too hard um, and uh, find some things in your home and show me um, so that I know that you're paying attention and you're following directions. Also, um, let's see, in math, you're going to be working on 80, 185 and 186, which is right here. Sorry about that. 185, 186, where you're going to guess they give you the flowers and then you're just going to guess how many are left to make 20. So you're going to make your guess without counting exactly what that number is and then you're going to test it by actually counting what is left and you're going to write that actual number on the pages before you're um, guessing how many um, the how many marbles were in the bag 10 20 or 30 so over here you're just going to estimate guess how many are left to make 20 you're going to guess put your guess here and then you're going to test it by counting and writing the number right there okay and then on the other side of that you're going to count it says which group has more than the number in the square so you're going to look You're going to look at that number. So you have 15, 25, 20, and 21. You're going to guess which number, circle your guess, which one has more than 15. You're going to circle it, and then you're going to actually count it. So count the two groups, and you're going to circle which one has more than 15, okay? So that's for today. Also, um, since today's Earth Day, um, help um, maybe you if your moms and dads are preparing to plant a garden, maybe you can help them by planting seeds or cleaning it up. Um, today, or um, today, Tanner, Grady, and I will be planting seeds. We're going to be planting cucumbers and carrots. We already planted some um, lettuce. Um, tomatoes. This is what we did. You do not have to do all this, but we did a bunch of gardening. Radishes, chilies, serrano chili peppers. We did some peas. And then in the front yard, we did some sunflowers. Um, our neighbors and I all planted sunflowers in our front yard so that everyone can see that we are the same and we love flowers and we like to bring some sunshine to our neighborhood. Also today, um, let's see. Oh, um, for religion, ask your mom and dad about your baptism. Um, ask them how they felt, how they felt 
um, when you were getting baptized in the church, what church you were baptized, what you wore, if they have a picture, have them um, send me the picture, show me your baptism. If you do, if not, that's okay, but um, maybe write down or draw um, what your um, baptism looked like. They can help you, they can describe for you, and you can um, color and draw what it was maybe put some um write some details about your baptism but i'd like to hear about your baptism it was a it was um most likely a beautiful ceremony and it was a very joyous and happy ceremony because it is a time when we um it's the first time we are welcomed into the church as babies or some people are baptized as um, children and adults okay so it's your the first introduction into baptism um, into the church when you are um, blessed with the holy water and blessed with the oils okay um that's all i have for today um i'd love to hear from you if you have any questions again please email me or text me um send me some of those pictures and get out there in the garden and try to plant a garden or um, think of other ways that you can be kind to our earth, like here's one way when you are brushing your teeth, do you turn off the water while you're brushing or do you just leave it running really long? Okay, so think about that and um, say thank you to God for our earth and um, treat our earth nicely by planting a garden, going out for a walk, um, picking up trash and um, you know, conserving, recycling, that kind of thing, okay? I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys, it's me again. Um, today, I promised you a read aloud story. This is Feathers for Lunch by Lois Ellert. I'm reading this today because it is now spring and this, and we're gonna be talking about animals for the rest of the month and their habitats, but I noticed um, lots of birds and animals coming out because it's not cold anymore. I've noticed a lot of colors around me. So this book is filled with lots of animals, lots of colors, lots of nature. Okay. It's called Feathers for Lunch by Lois Ellert. Uh-oh. Doors left open. Just a crack. And what do you think is going out that door? My cat is out and he won't come back. And then she also, Lois Ellert also names the animals and the plants in this book. So this is a geranium plant. I also have a geranium plant in my front yard. Same color, red, it's beautiful. He's looking for lunch, something new. This is an American Robin. A spicy treat for today's menu. This is a blue jay. And this tree right here is a pine tree. His food in a can is tame and mild. Lots of colors here. So you've got a forsythia branch, a forsythia branch and a bleeding heart plant. It's a bleeding heart plant because they look like hearts with drops. It's a beautiful plant. And this is a Northern Cardinal. Cardinal. It says, what? Cheer, cheer, cheer. So he's gone out for something wild. Here's an apple tree branch. And here is a house wren. Actually, the two house wrens. He's looking and sneaking. Those birds sure look good. Tap, 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 tap. What do you think this bird is? It is a red-headed woodpecker. 
Tap, 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 tap. If he could catch one, he'd eat it. He would. This is a red winged blackbird. Oakley, Oakley. That's what he says. And this is a Rembrandt tulip. So tulips look like closed and then open. But when his bell jingles, birds call a loud warning. Jingle, jingle, jingle. This is a lilac bush. And this is a northern oriole. Check, check, check. Big, big cat got out early this morning. These are morning doves. But cats can't fly and they can't soar. But birds can. These are northern flickers. Nice colors and patterns on those birds. And birds know what their wings are for. What are their wings for? They're to fly away. So this is a ruby-throated hummingbird. And this is a petunia plant. So he keeps prowling, hoping to munch. So these are the forsythia branches again. This is a house sparrow. And this is an American goldfinch. but all he catches are feathers for lunch. Look at all those feathers. He did not catch a bird, but he got feathers in his face. Poor cat, good for the birds. They got away. So on the back or at the end, they have the lunch that got away. So all the birds that were in this book, like the Northern Cardinal, the Northern Oriole, the Red Winged Blackbird, the Blue Jay, the American Robin, the Morning Dove, the Ruby Throated Hummingbird, the American Goldfinch, the House Sparrow, the House Wren, the Northern Flicker, and the Red Headed Woodpecker. Beautiful pictures. And that is the end of Feathers for Lunch. If you want to hear that again, just rewind it to the beginning. If you listen it, to it again, notice all the colors, all the animals, all the plants, all the flowers that you see in the book, all the colors of spring. A beautiful book, a well-written book, and a lot of fun to read. Did you hear any rhyming words? I think I did. So go back and listen and listen for those rhyming words. Um, look at those spring colors and notice all the animals and plants that you see. Okay. Bye guys.